to all of you watching this video, thank you for joining me. I'm Mr. Ish. I want to break up the monotony just a bit and put in this video here of two area problems. This is more of a geometry exercise than anything. We have this question and a question which will follow. This is the easier one. The next one is slightly more difficult. We have to determine the area of this triangle that you see. Given that the area of this large circle is 4 pi, the area of the small circle is 2 pi, the two circles are tangent to one another, and here are the centers. How can we determine the triangle? Well, if you pluck out this triangle and we can show it like this, we have for this triangle a certain base dimension right over here. And then there's a certain height dimension. If you can determine the base and the height, we're good. But if you look at this right over here, the base is also equal to the diameter of your large circle. Your large circle diameter is the base of the triangle. If you look across, as you're looking across here, the height. When you're looking at the height, it's composed of this radius of the large circle and the two radii of the small circle, or you can say the diameter of the small circle. The height over here, as we're seeing it, consists of the radius of the large circle and it is made of the diameter of the small circle. So these are what we have to determine and then we'll have our area of the triangle. Let's look at the large circle, 4 pi. 4 pi is equal to pi r square and the radius over here is equal to 2. That's my radius. Small circle, 2 pi is equal to pi r square and the radius here is equal to root 2. When we're looking here at the large circle, the radius is 2, therefore the diameter must be twice of that, which is 4. When we're looking at now these items in terms of the height, I have over here a radius of the large circle, which is 2. I have this right here. Each of these radii here of the small circle are root 2, so the diameter must be 2 root 2. And I have everything I need now. I know now the base over here is equal to the diameter which is 4 and I know height is equal to all, all of this 2 plus 2 root 2 so let's do the area of the triangle computation and we'll have it we'll have half times base times height 2 plus 2 root 2 you can just cancel this out with this and just multiply across you'll have a 4 plus 4 root 2 that right there would be the area of the triangle and it should be good and the question has been solved Let's look at this second and the last question. We have a representation as such. You see here a circle with a diameter, the center. That forms one of the sides of an equilateral triangle or equilateral triangle. Given the equilateral triangle, the triangle has an area of 10. We have to find the area of this circle. How can we do it? You're going to use a triangle to determine the area of the circle and we can pluck out the triangle. If it's an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal and they're all equal here to x. We have each angle, which is 60 degrees, we can draw a certain height. We have a certain base over here. But rather than looking at it all as a complete, let's just look at it right over here, from here to here as an x over two. If you look at this and you pluck it out, you're looking really at this. X over two, you have an X and you have a 60 degrees. If I can determine the height of this, it would be helpful. And I know I have a H dimension. You can use the Pythagorean formula, or how about just do 10, 60 degrees is equal to H over X over two. And then height is equal to 10, 60, ba based on trigonometric ratio is always root three. You have root three X, root 3 over 2, that right there is your height dimension. I want to find out what this x is because this entire x over here is also equal to the diameter of the circle. If I can determine the diameter, I can get the radius, then I can get the area. We know that the area of the triangle is half base times height and we know it's equal to 10. 10 is equal to a half times base which is x because each of these sides here is an x and that represents a base times height x root 3 over 2. Solve for x you'll have an x square root 3 is equal to 2 times 10 times 2 which is a 40 x is equal to 40 divided by root 3 and square that right there represents the diameter now the diameter of the circle as we've calculated is equal to x which is equal to root of 40 over root 3 if i want to find the radius i have to divide this by 2 i'm getting a 40 divided by root 3 over 2. So you see I have a root 40 divided by root 3. I have double radicals in it, but that's fine. We've determined the radius now. Radius is equal to root 40 divided by root 3 over 2. Let's find the area. Area of the circle is equal to pi r square, which is equal to pi. And then we're looking here at root 40 divided by root 3 over 2, all of this square. When you open up all of this up, this square root and that square will cancel each other out. You're really going to have 40 over root 3 
3 over 4 because this 2 will also square. When you clean this all out, you'll have a 10 pi over root 3 and that right there will be the area of the circle and the question has been completed. Remember, you have to use the dimension of this triangle and the properties of equilateral triangle and the area of the triangle to determine this, this side of the triangle which is also equal to your diameter. The diameter was equal to the side of that triangle. Once you have the diameter, you divide it by 2, you have your radius and from there you can take it to completion and there it is. And that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.